Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to the West Coast here on Farming Simulator 70. I know we've been here quite a lot lately, but uh, I'm enjoying the fact that I finally got my hands on it and uh, I've been away for a week, so I'm basically indulging in what I've missed out on. But uh, today we are cracking on with our next task, so if you missed the first three episodes, we harvested a field which turned out to be barley, which is now in here. We'd have to trailer in here as well, just up the rain and stuff. So this is all of the grain that we got from that one field. The pile doesn't look that big, but I'm pretty sure there's more there than we uh, think. And... Uh, We've also sold all the bells in there as well. So now we have £34,000. I think we started off with about 21, so not ridiculous profit from the bales, but still better than what we had. And um, so today, we need to start cultivating on that and also get some potatoes planted down. So we have the potato planter over here. Now it is dirty and not completely full. There's some in there, but not completely full. And that's because I had an older version of the map and I already did this off camera, but then Bullet Bill updated it and set us a new version, so I've got to start again, which is no worries. So we'll just do it today. Um, so I'm going to save the class for the potato seeder. So we are going to use the John Deere with the cultivator. Now the cultivator is already down there. Let's go ahead and get this door open whilst we head down. Let's get the head tracking on real quick. There we go. Let's get that closed down like that. We'll quickly give that a reset just in case. Awesome. So yeah, we'll get the John Deere booted up. That's a little bit loud. Let me just turn that down. There we go. So we're going to take this down to the field. Like I said, the cultivator is already down there waiting for us. So we don't have to pick that up now and take that down. So we literally just got to drive to the field, make a start. So I'm just going to do... Well, actually, I think we'll just set the guy off doing a couple of... Uh, we may do a couple of passes. I'm not moving my mind up just yet. But uh, we are going to set up a course plate for him or even a hired worker. I've got two different ways of doing hired workers now, basically. So, uh, whilst we've got a little bit of a chunk done on there, we'll make a start on the potatoes. Now, the cultivator is a lot wider than the potatoes, so we shouldn't touch wood, overtake the uh, overtake the cultivator, which is good. Wait for this. Uh, what? I don't even know what that's meant to be. Some Russian car, I think. Oh, there's another pickup. Well, not pickup truck. There's another truck coming here. Go, 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 go. I think I turned the beacon lights on. Not that we need them, but safety first. So, how are you guys doing? Welcome back. Hope you guys are enjoying it. So, yesterday we did Upton Farm. I haven't seen the views for that just yet in the comments because uh, I've, not, I've been out the house all day. But uh, I'll check them in a minute. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the West Coast as well. So, here's the field. Let's just go into here. Apparently, there's a public footpath in here. Although, there wasn't actually one when I got here. So, I hope I haven't cultivated over it. So speaking of which, here's the cultivator, or, oh, you know what I mean. Um, so go ahead and pick this up. Make sure we don't crash into our potato boxes there. Right. Do this as best we can. Nope, head tracking won't let me. Dang it. I need to get probably track IR, I think. So at the moment, people don't... For those of you that don't know, I have track hat, which is a cheap version of track IR. No, it's good. It's good. It's just... It's very, very narrow working with, although it could be how far away my screen is. I might have to move the screen a little bit closer, but, um, or the camera, even. Also, excuse all the extra cables on the desk. That is the stuff for my Rift. Unfortunately, I can't use the Rift for farm sim. I wish I could. Unfortunately, I can't. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this uh, cultivator unfolded here. We'll also make a start on this. So this is the... What brand is this? Vaderstead? Vaderstead. Yeah, Vaderstead. Um, not sure what brand it is, but... All right. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and use... Does this tractor have GPS? It does not have GPS. Okay, that's a bit worrying. So what we're going to do is wing it, basically. We'll just get it lowered down. We'll do it by eye, I think. Seems there's no physical GPS inside of the tractor. I'm pretty sure you can get an add-on for these tractors, but we'll just do it like this today. So we should have more than enough horsepower. Let's get the hand throttle on for this. And as you can see, it's quite big. So this is probably about one and a bit, possibly even two passes with the uh, potato planter. So it shouldn't take... Well, we shouldn't overtake this John Deere, I mean, so he should be working away pretty easy by the time we get to him. So yeah, I did tell you guys I was going to be doing a live stream, and never actually got around to doing the live stream. I do apologise, because uh, I've been trying to change my body clock. Uh, I've been going to sleep about, literally about 5am in the morning lately. Um, so my body clock is a bit messed up, so I've been trying to change it back. So I've been getting quite... Well, I've been getting up at like 7.30 in the morning, and they're uh, going to bed earlier. However, come 7 o'clock... When uh, I usually start streaming, it's going to get lower down a little bit more. There we go. Um, yeah, come 7 o'clock when I'm meant to be streaming, I am absolutely knackered. So I haven't been doing it, unfortunately. So I will owe you, well, I do owe you guys a live stream. So I'll get onto that at some point. Let's go down here now. I'm really, really bad at judging widths of things. So, uh, But I'd rather overlap than uh, miss some. So actually, it mm, might be alright. I think that middle bit's a little bit too narrow for the width of this cultivator, but not to worry. 
see that's the plan today. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this field hopefully cultivated and um, we'll get some potatoes flown down. So I have been looking into research about how you do potatoes and some people said just do it normal. Some people said you have to leave like a tram line at the end. So I'm thinking what we'll do is... Uh, I don't even know. I don't know. Apparently you can't obviously do headlands because the potato harvesters are technically can't go in, not circles, but they can't really bend all that well because of the, uh, the shape of them and stuff. So I'm thinking we'll go just do straight lines in the field here and then when, instead of doing like a headland, we'll go straight along the top sort of thing. We'll play it around. If I get it wrong, you guys can tell me off in the comment section because like I said, I have got zero experience whatsoever with potatoes in real life, let alone being an expert on them. Let's quickly go on this middle pass here now. Let's get the bits that we've uh, we've missed. Do some of this in first person here. It's not too bad. Actually, my guess was pretty good. It's not that great. We've got about probably half a meter wasted, but that's absolutely fine. Like I said, I'd rather overlap than uh, miss some. Let's get the uh, hand throttle on again right here. So yeah, we'll do one more pass, we'll get them off into hide worker, and then we'll get the, uh, well, I think we need to fill up the potatoes a little bit more, so I'm hoping we can do that. Beautiful day here as well, on the uh, west coast. Now I'm going to try, this is going to be the last video in this field, until it's ready to harvest. I really want to start using the other side of the map, so you guys can see more of the map. As soon as uh, it's not out just yet, I'll give you guys like a, make a tour guide, basically. We'll start doing things on the other side of the map, so, um, let's go ahead and get this lift up and turned around. So yeah, this will be the last video that takes place in this field, I do promise you that. Uh, actually, we'll get the PDA up in a second and see what we can do in the next video. Hand throttle up. Awesome, so where is the button for that? I think it's here. Yes, it is. Cool. Uh, so what, we've got field 81. We could do some grass work in the next video. What do you guys reckon to that? We've got field 30 as well, which looks a bit small. Uh, the rest is sort of around here. So we've got 14, 15, 10 is also an arable field, and we've not harvested that just yet. But I think I'll do that off camera because you guys saw me do some harvesting in episode number one so i'll probably do that off camera and then get it up to scratch where we haven't done just yet so yeah we might head down to field 81 next time which i believe is the dairy farm possibly no it's a sheep farm you can see the little sheep icon there yeah basically i don't know what field we're doing just yet but you get the idea we're gonna go to as far away as we can next time we may even buy a field let's quickly finish this off here Awesome, so what I'm going to do now is get this turned around, we'll get the uh, the hired worker on. Actually, we've got to go a little bit further this time, because obviously the passes of uh, well, the field side has got a bit longer up this end. So I'm aiming for about three headlands that we could do manually with this. Um, take it up to the top here. And I think we'll leave it about here. So let's go ahead and get this turned around here. We'll get there on to a uh, hard worker, hopefully. Hopefully it'll work. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get it lifted down just one more time here. Just so we can start it off. Cool. So we're going to do Control H to get that up. We're going to do passes. We're going to go down to turn that way. And hopefully, he should go. She sh Is that a girl? There's a girl. Hopefully she'll go now. And doesn't get stuck in a bush or something. Awesome. So there we go. She's going to be working away now. We will go ahead and collect the... In fact, we'll tab through to the class. Here we are. We're right in there already. Let's go ahead and get that lifted down. We'll get some uh, sunlight onto the situation here. Get the uh, tractor turned on. This tractor's making me very, very excited for cattle and crops now. I think they're due an update very soon. So I'll show you guys what's going on with the update when it's out and uh, see what's new and stuff. So in the last cattle and crops update, I believe... We had the slurry spreading and the... What was the other spreader we had? Slurry and... I can't remember what the other one was now. Oh, it was spraying, sorry. Yeah, so we had slurry and like the normal liquid fertilizer, so... Let's go ahead and get that hooked up like that. So we're about 80% full, so we're not going to need to fill it up that much. Now, I'm wondering if we need a front weight. It looks like it may be okay. This class looks like it can handle it, which is nice. Now... We're not going to bother using bags today, because we need to do that on Upton Farm next time. So we're just going to use the triggers right now. Here's my little uh, storage field here for the stuff that I'm terrible at reversing, or just too lazy to reverse. You can see my track marks where I've been driving everywhere. So we've got the uh, bell trailer from last video there, we've got the chieftain trailer, and also the header trailer there as well. So I don't actually know where the trigger is for this. I think it might be here. But don't quote me on that. Let's quickly try this. So we'll stop that there, we'll get it lowered. Oh no, we won't, will 
Okay, yeah, it is right at this doorway here. As you can see, you can see the seeds inside. So this is where you fill up your seeds for those of you who are going to be wondering when the map is released finally. Speaking of which, uh, as most of you know, unfortunately this map failed at testing, but Bullet Bill has already fixed it. So uh, it's been re-uploaded to Giants. So now with the release date isn't up to Bullet Bill or anything, it's up to Giants. So just be patient, wait for Giants to uh, look at it and stuff, and then hopefully you guys will be playing it very, very, very soon. They did it quite quick last time, so it shouldn't be too long. If they're testing it today, which is, I'm recording this on Friday, you probably have it Monday, because I don't think they work weekends, Giants. So, yeah, hopefully Monday you guys will have it in your games as well. But don't quote me on that. That's not saying it is. I'm saying hopefully it is. Um, I have no official idea. I'm just guessing at this point. Right, make sure no one's coming here. Well, there is a red car coming. I'm just going to wait, let him go, because uh, I'm not sure how quick this thing accelerates. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Do I have the beacons on? No. Probably should turn them on since we're on the main road now. Awesome. So where is she at? There she is. Struggling a little bit. Why is she struggling? We were just in that tractor. I can handle it fine. I don't know. She's struggling, no? Alright, so we are going to be using GPS in this tractor. Just so we can have the uh, potatoes nice and neat. So we're going to start about... Like I said, we're going to do the headlands at the end. Because we're going to try and do straight headlands. Like I said, I'm not sure how that actually works. Because I've never done it before. But uh, if I'm doing it wrong, feel free to tell me in the comment section. Let's get our beacon lights off real quick. Get the GPS on here. Get it rotated around a little bit like that. So what is the working with this thing? Is it 3.5? Let's quickly double check. Uh, no, it's 3 meters. So I don't know where they got the 0. 0.5 from. Let's do 2.9 just to be safe. That doesn't seem right to me. Maybe it is. But it doesn't seem right. I'll right, we'll get that turned on here like that. Get her on track. Pfft. Quickly get into reverse a minute. And we'll begin. So in real life, I would probably throw some manure down before I do this. But unfortunately, we're at the stage of this game where we don't have any manure because we don't have any animals. So that is something to do on our to-do list. It looks like this map does not have multi-terrain angle either. Um... Okay, we're going to scrap that a minute. Let me just refresh this and uh, we'll get it working properly. Right, okay, everybody. So we've uh, gone ahead and reset the GPS. There you go. We've got the uh, John Deere working nicely there as well. So uh, we're going straight forward now. So multi terrain angle basically means that you can have it in any direction and the, like, the patterns of the ground follow you as well. But unfortunately, this map does not have it, which uh, most maps don't in FS17, unfortunately. I'm not sure how they get that working either. But um, we're just going to go straight forward now. So we're not going exactly in line with the field but at least the uh, pattern the textures coming out the back of the cedar are completely straight now so it looks a bit a bit more realistic so we're gonna do lots of these so this is the smaller one obviously because we have to get it on the uh, the small British roads all right there we go like I said we are doing the headlands last so I'm not worried about going up too close to the edge so there is actually a potato field on the way to work where I work on Saturdays and Saturdays so on Saturday sorry I work in Cornwall. There's actually a potato field there, so I roughly know what theirs looks like, but I'm not exactly sure, like, how much, like, distance and stuff is either, so... I'm maybe doing this completely wrong. I'm just trying to remember, basically. All right, let's go ahead and get that lowered down. That's not the right one. There we go. Lower down. Awesome. So, yeah, for the, just to recap, we're going to be doing our straight passes like this and then at the ends we're going to be doing completely different lines completely straight at the top as well so as far as I'm aware you don't go in round circles with the uh, potatoes because obviously the harvester can't really do it and we're in a straight line but they've got to be planted in a straight line sorry John Deere's finally caught up there so I actually had to put it onto course play instead because the hard worker was just going a little bit weird so he is on course play now so if you see any messages pop up that is why Let's get that stopped there. There we go. We're going to the next one. So as this field's a little bit not a complete square, I'm not sure what we're going to do about the bit that we're on now. We might go right up to the edge, come to think of it. In fact, yes, we will. Let's get that on to the course here. We'll reverse up a little bit. In fact, we're in the wrong lane. Well done, Simulate. Oh, okay, that's the right lane. Get that onto the pass. Lower that down. And we'll crack on with this next one. So, like I said, at the moment, at least, you guys are still liking the uh, the time-lapse stuff. Glad you are. 
Um, it means I can leave a little bit more into the video without you guys getting bored. So we'll do a really, really quick time lapse today, just while we do a few more passes, because this thing is tiny, this seed drill. And I'll catch up with you in a jiffy, and we'll hopefully we'll find some ghosts to do as well. Right, everybody, so change your plan. They'll need a little bit. So this guy's doing a terrible, terrible job here. So we've actually gone ahead and gone up to here. So we're going to do it from here all the way along to the end of the field. And then from here onwards, we're going to change directions to this way. Now, the reason I've stopped is because he's doing a terrible job, and I think he's going to drive over what we've just done anyway. So for the meantime, we're going to do some transporting today. So we're going to jump back in to the Massey Ferguson here. Okay, right, we'll get it turned on. So we need to get that other field done. So I'm thinking, uh, what's going to be the best way to do this? It's a very, very tight field that we need to go in now. So I'm going to quickly go, get, go ahead and get another hired worker set off, which is going to be in the field literally just across the road. So we literally don't have to go very far at all. But unfortunately, the lane is too narrow for the header to go through with attached to the combine. So we are going to have to take it over regardless. So we'll quickly get this backed up into here once more time. And hopefully this will be the last field. I think this is the... Only arable field we've got left now. Right, we'll pull this forward. Take it across the road. So I'm planning on parking somewhere in the gate so the harvester can just drive it to the gate, attach it, and then be on his way, or her way, depending on who takes over. Right, go ahead and do that real quick. Like so. Right, so here's the field. Like I said, literally right in front of us. So we haven't got to go very, very far at all. But, like I said, actually the header might have got through. It might have got through, actually. I don't know. I don't really know how wide it is. So I'm thinking we can pull up and park in front of the gate. It's going to be a little bit hard with a dolly trailer on. We may cause a little bit of crop destruction here, but uh, I'd rather that than damage the uh, equipment. So we'll zoom out just a tad here so we can see what we're doing. So yeah, there's going to be a little bit of crop destruction, but that's absolutely fine. There we go. Destroying the crops as we go. All right, we'll get this turned. Oh, we're stuck on something. Let's get a four-wheel drive on here. Right, there we are. See if we can get this backed up without jackknifing or completely going in the wrong direction here. Why is it not turning? The trailer will not turn at all. Let's get it straightened out first. Right, there we go. Let's try that one. Nope, doesn't want to play along today. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, there we go. That's more like it. We nearly jackknife right at the end there, but that's absolutely fine. We're in. And uh, we'll quickly tab through. That's the John Deere. We'll tab through back to our little uh, combine here. Get it cranked up. Don't really need the beacon lights on, but we're going to do it just for safety anyway. And uh, we'll get this hooked up. So I don't know what's in this field here. Probably wheat. I can't really tell by the colour because we have got the Seasons mod uh, configs in. There we go. Line ourselves up as best as we can here. And click. We're in. Right now, we can't go far back. We just go as far as we can. It's about here. Cool. That's looking a bit bit claustrophobic in here, but that should be okay for now. We're going to go ahead and get this Massey pulled out of the way. Well, hopefully, he doesn't clip the gate. No, we're good. We're good. So, like I said, a little bit of crop destruction, but it's quite minimal. I think you guys will agree with that. It's quite minimal. Right, let's get that disconnected like that. That might be in the way actually, this uh, tractor. So we'll leave the header there. Or header trailer even. We'll quickly get this parked out of the way just while the uh, combine does its first headland. There we go. Get it turned off. Oh gosh, we're on the wrong side of the fence. There, what are these things by the way? Let me know in the comment section. What are these little uh, look like toy rockets? Are they like deer feeders or something? I have no idea. If you know what these blue things are, please let me know because I am very, very curious. There's it with the light on. Yeah, I saw them there on the first look, like a tour that we did, but I don't actually know what they are, so I didn't comment on them. I didn't want to sound stupid, but now I'm just curious more than anything. So if you do know, please let me know. Right, we'll get this unfolded here. Get it lowered down, boot it up. Let's make sure we're dropping a swath first of all. Yeah, we are. Cool. Actually, this might even be canola. What is this? It is canola, so we don't need to drop a swath anyway. <laughs> My bad. It's a nice, neat field we've got here. So we're going to be starting off with quite a lot of money actually we should get quite a lot of money from this field because it's reasonably big can't really tell from here but it does go down here as well or it does it's a weird shape we're going to go to here lift up and get it turned around like this i think it's going to be the best solution we should we'll clip the header trailer there no we're good 
so yeah, I did bother doing the time. I'm not going to bother leaving the uh, time lapse in for the potatoes because it was very, very boring. So we'll do it with this instead, I think. So I have got a plan with the potatoes now. Now that I've been driving around the field for a bit, I have got one. I just want to wait for the John Deere to finish doing this thing. And uh, hopefully, by the next time you see that field, it'll be planted up and looking pretty good. We're going to have to fertilize it as well. So I'm going to be leaving some tram lines in there. Speaking of the John Deere, he is slipping on something. We'll have a look at him in a second. I don't know what it could be. Uh, we'll just going to get this happened out of the way real quick. So yeah, actually, I'm going to quickly check the John Deere. We'll do a couple of... Well, we'll do the two... Uh, yeah, we'll do... Oh, there's a footpath going through the middle of this. I wonder what that was then. So yeah, we'll do two uh, passes with the headland, and then uh, I think that'll be it today. Okay, everybody, so we're coming towards the end of our second headland now, and I think that's going to be it for what our manual labour, at least. I think we'll get this on to a, a course. I might continue doing that off-camera, who knows, but this recording's of 40 minutes already, so I've got to try and edit that down for you guys. But yeah, thank you very much for joining me in this episode. So basically, when we get to the end of here, we're just going to... Uh, I might just carry on myself, actually. I'm kind of chilled out doing this. So yeah, once again, thank you very much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please up the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Uh, in the next video, we're st hopefully everything will be done and we can start doing the map how we want to do it. So we'll get rid of all this, like, the starting fields and stuff slowly but surely and we can start doing our own thing. So once again, thank you for joining me. Hit subscribe to see more from myself. If you want to see my videos daily, make sure you click the little bell button next to the subscribe button as well. I've been Simulate Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.